Good evening and thank you for joining us on Capital Markets this evening. I'm Tempula Shaju. On the program this evening, one of the listed companies on the Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, headquartered with major operations in Unewi, Anambra State, uh, opened his factory to us on Capital Markets and will bring you that interview during the course of the program. But the founder speaks about his listing experience and tells us uh, his idea of corporate governance, thinking of what that could be, that company. Yes, your guess is as good as mine, but you have to wait for that uh, interview along the line. Now, Kyotox PLC was founded by engineer Azulu Uzodike in the 1980s, uh, manufacturing cable and wire products of all sizes. Uh, shortly after the establishment gave firm footing, it became listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange with over 440.33 million naira raised from both private placements and public offer bonuses as at December uh, 2013. And then we are in Umbra states, uh, the eastern part of Nigeria. We had the privilege of speaking to Mr. Ozodike on the motivation for listing on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. I had always wanted to do something that will add value in Nigeria. So from the time I was studying mechanical engineering in Lagos University, I had already made up my mind that I would own a factory. Now, by the time I graduated, I was already frustrated with engineering because I thought that engineers were the people who made things happen. But I discovered that it was managers. So while I was doing my youth call, I applied to several universities in America to do management. I got admitted to three of their best, and then I chose Harvard Business School, where I studied management. And uh, when I came back, all I was doing was preparing myself to set up a factory. So when I was ready, I decided to set it up at Nnewi. I, I decided to do it at Nnewi because it was an unproven ground. A lot of factories were already in Lagos. And uh, I needed to show people that it could be done there. But what, what exactly informs the idea of going public? I was trying to show people that so many of the things they were afraid of doing, that they, no, they, this, these are the trends that if you own a company, and you are many of you owning the company, people will want to exit at one time or the other. If it is privately held, it's difficult to exit. Eh? But if you are hooted on the stock market, you know, and then you can go and uh, sell some of your shares. If you want to distribute the shares to your children, it's easy. Uh, so th these were, because I had seen it outside, and seeing how it works. Although the Nigerian market is not, not that well developed, but it's still better. So uh, my life in business has been to show people that there is an alternative way. You don't have to wait till you have all the money. If you have an idea, you can develop the idea and get other people to invest in you and your idea to create the company. You can also take the company to the market. Another thing is, I left Kutix 10 years ago. But I left it a little bit too early, but I came back. I left it 10 years ago. It's not dead. OK? I'm not tired. I could continue managing it even for another 5, 10 years. But I left it so that we can set up a managerial culture, some of the things that are lacking in our society. So uh, if I'm successful, and then if Nigeria start emulating that, then Nigeria will be a step towards doing some of the things you see them doing uh, in the other in other developed countries, and uh, I feel very happy when we get to Ecotics annual general meeting. Left Ecotics uh, ten years ago, as you said. What for you is the idea of corporate governance, and what is that push that you have that helps you to set that kind of example? Mm. 
you know, this word corporate governance, it is still very confusing. Hmm? And uh, I think Nigerians are, are mixing things too much in corporate governance. Uh, so I'm afraid of that word, corporate governance. People are using it as if it is uh, an act of parliament, you know. But the corporate governance idea is to see whether they can clean up so many negative things that have happened in the business sphere. But you know, we are human beings, it's difficult. If you clean one, another one comes up. And uh, if people are not careful in corporate governance, you can kill the company that you were trying to clean up, OK? Um, but I think companies need to be transparent. In a transparent society, when companies are transparent, it pays. But in Nigeria, it's not so rewarding to be transparent because this, is, this society is not transparent. Uh, but we wouldn't wait for the society to change. People change the society. So if we do things that are transparent, eventually the whole society could change. Um, but the aspects of uh, governance or things you may say, I know when we started, anytime I want to pay tax, some of my shareholders will say, why do we pay this tax? No, it's too much, why should we? And I tell them, if I start cheating the government, I will cheat you people also. Eh? That let's pay tax to the government. There's enough for us to share later on and the company will be growing. So I think uh, the largest and the people who have been there with me are happy, okay? So what role do you play now in Kyotox? Um, I have found out that you can live being managing director. You can live being the chairman, but you can't stop making sure that things are working. So, and uh, there is a tendency for shareholders to want to be directors. In fact, we started with that, but I've convinced them that they shouldn't be directors. You should find people who know what to do and make them uh, directors. Uh, they're, but even if they are not directors, they should be able to make sure that the directors are following what they have asked them to do. And at times, the shareholders don't even ask directors to do anything. So the first thing, if you are talking about corporate governance, is a document I'm trying to get for Kutix now which is the Kutis Governance Guide, starting with what the shareholders want the directors to achieve with the company. Okay? Then how they will make sure that they do this because they can't be sitting on the directors. But you must have a way of being able to be able to assess that the directors are doing it. And the only control you have is if they are not doing it, you change them, okay? But you don't change them unnecessarily. So I'm learning, and we, we I say, if liver brothers can be in London, Hennekins can be in Holland or wherever, and they are controlling their investments here, they must be doing. There must be ways they are doing it, and we are trying to find out if we do it without constraining the directors, because some of these people are very dis distinguished people. If we can do that, then we'll have succeeded. How do you want to square up the regulatory headwinds that we currently have in the system? Foreign exchange is one. Uh, there is also the palletization policy that the federal government, you know, commenced on January the 1st of this year. How do you square up all of this? Uh, palletization, I think it means that everything must come on pallets, okay? Standardized pallets, okay? It's nice so that it makes evacuation very easy, okay? 
but you may be surprised that there are no the forklifts and other things may not be ready even when the things come all right but the first one you mentioned the foreign exchange um, you see our president does not understand the economics of currencies and so we have multiple exchange rates it's a disaster i wrote something immediately and said why do we want to go back to things that have failed so i think it's as a result of the person who is there and because nigerians who know who were close to him didn't tell him the few people like bismarck Ramana was saying things but there, nobody was listening to him and it made sense so it will take us some time to recover. Mr. Ajulu Uzodike is the founder of Kyotix PLC. He sits back home now in Unewi Anambra State, uh, giving an advisory role to the operations of Kyotix right there. Well, on that note, we'll draw the curtain on Capital Market this evening. That's the edition for this weekend. Thank you for watching. I'm Temple Ashaju. I'll see you again next time.